say it to me again. Um, one a fellow YouTuber sent us a message, and um, I didn't mention the name. I don't want to embarrass this person. But it says, "Hi, I'm from Germany, and I love your bubble gum video." Smiley face. You should do another one with more and bigger bubbles. Really? Do you chew bubble gum and a lot of a lot and blow bubble? Well, I do, and so do my fellow. You know, the close stars. But sadly, I ran out. Life has been hard since ten minutes ago when I ran out of them. I can see it right now. I have to throw away because it became disgusting. Gosh, time is so hard. Bubble call cost so much. But what are you to do? What? No one knows. No one. If I only had my bubble gum. I made a song for this occasion. Bubble gum. How come you left me by myself? Out in my room, nothing to chew on. When bored comes, what am I supposed to do? Be bored without you. Bubble gum, bubble gum, bubble gum. I think I can pull myself back together. Well, in this episode, since it's about bubblegum, I'm going to go on Google and look up some facts about bubblegum. Bubblegum. can't really see it very well. I had put in bubblegum facts and several pages came up. Let's start off with the first page. Bubblegum main page. See what it says. Okay, did you know that during World War One, U.S. military personnel Spread the popularity of chewing gum by trading. What is this? I don't want that. By trading it and giving it as gifts to people in Europe, Africa, Asia, and around the world. The first patent for chewing gum was issued in 1869 to William F. Semple, a dentist from Mount Vernon, Ohio. Did you know that there are more than 1,000 varieties of gum manufactured and sold in the United States? And did you know that Stride was my favorite? I love Forever Fruit. It's the best. Cinnamon, Spearmint, and Peppermint are the most popular flavors of gum. I didn't know that. Do you know why gum is pink? Because of the first successful bubble gum was pink because the, it was the only color the inventor had left. The color stuck, and today, bubble gum is still mostly pink. They know that. North America kids spend approximately half a billion dollars on bubble gum every year. I bet I spent a lot more on myself because I live bubble gum. The largest bubble ever blown was 23 inches in diameter. The recorded was set on July 19, 1994 by Susan Montgomery Williams of Friends of California. Brother had the fun. Didn't know that either. 
Tips for getting gum unstuck from clothing. Try scraping it off any excess gum with a dull knife and then rubbing the area with ice until the remaining gum rolls off into a ball. We've done the impossible and now you can try too. We've done all this while blowing a bubble. Smiling through your teeth, frowning, laughing out of the bottom of your mouth, side of your mouth, top of your mouth, while kissing something and while blowing your nose. Well, you can never do that, I don't think. Well, then it says how gum is made, and I don't want to read it all because it's a lot. Well, it's not that much, but... Some cool facts about gum from the past. Ancient Greeks chewed a gum, like substance called mastic. Women especially like gum because they clean their teeth and ex exercise their jaw muscles. Let's see... Remember, blowing bubbles takes a lot of time and practice. I know how that feels. Oh, really? Did you know that you blow a bubble what if there's less flavor in it? I did not know it. Well, that's about all the bubble gum facts that I'm going to say right now. Maybe in the next episode I will say some more. And, uh... Hmm. What, Jaden? You want to get up here? Okay, he doesn't want to be up here with me, but, um, yeah. What else? I love bubble gum, and, um, deeply depressed that I don't have any more. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to go now. Mm -hmm. Hope you know.